Okay. 70 pounds. Pure goodness. I've never seen you put the stand up that tall. The tripod? Yeah, the tripod. That's what I meant. Yeah. Oh, how low do I have to get? Okay, how's it going, guys? You're way up there because it's the first time I've had to put my tripod as high as it can go just to fit this whole box in frame. So we're going to do an unboxing. I might have to lower the camera and get a closer look. But um, I have a yardstick here just so you can kind of see how big it is. It's a yard right there. And then uh, an extra eight inches. So this way. 25 inches. Huge, huge. Okay. All right, guys, so let's get unboxing. Okay, so this should be close enough. I'm gonna get over camera. This will be my open this up. Um, okay, um, mine came with three straps when it was delivered, and then I ended up breaking one when I brought it into the house. So now I just carry the whole box as a whole. It's actually not that heavy, so 70 pounds isn't very much. So, are you guys ready? Okay, this is enough foam to insulate a million printers. The packaging looks awesome so far. By the way, I love this foam. I'm starting to use it for everything. Cool, so let's set that aside. We got our, we got QR codes for all the different Facebook groups. Full card, an after sales card. I think this, if you have any questions, um, basically we'll get you replacement parts within 12 months is the limit. So they basically included like a warranty plan. TiVo has always been really good about replacing parts, unlike a, a million other Chinese companies. But, okay, so this next one looks like the manual, kind of looks like the beta manual. We just recently completed uh, the really nice manuals. So those will be uh, either printed and included into the newer batches of printers, or um, I can link it in the description below if it comes out online. Okay, so here's a checklist. Seems to be good. So we'll hold on to that, keep that on the side. Looks like a B3 one parts pack, B3 two, nothing else there. All right, let's see for the big unveil. What is this part here? Oh my gosh, this looks insane. Wow, okay, how am I gonna dig this out? Oh, this is definitely gonna be a heavy guy. So, here is the print bed, but I think they, uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be like this, where you, maybe you take it off and then reverse it, but they shift it with the bed down. They use a nice silicone heater. It's 110 volt, 300 watt. Okay, so we're gonna set this aside. It's pretty heavy, so wherever you put this thing, it's gonna literally sit rock solid. Okay, and let's open this next side here. Okay, this looks like the top piece. It'll hold all the steppers and footers and filament, all this crazy stuff. This is all spider webs for from how long the forwarder had it. Just kidding, it was um, it was glue from this here. It looks like spray glue. Let's go dig into the next layer here. All right, there's the next layer. This looks like the pre-wired uh, main board and power supply and all that good stuff. Looks freaking phenomenal. Um, looks like they finally included this guy here. A fuse switch, looks great. Like some snake cables, but that's probably to run a bunch of cables all at once. Uh, this is set to 230s. What I'm gonna do already is set that to my voltage so we don't have the same mistake that happened to me in my Black Widow one. And then we're gonna set that aside. Oh, that looks so nice. That laser engraved TiVo logo. Okay, All right, so now here we have an A4 parts list. Just looks like some more bolts, some more spider web from the forwarder. Okay, uh, let's get the, the main three. Ah. C-beams. One second, I'm actually gonna check if this is square. So from just looking at it, this looks cut extremely well. I'm probably gonna check with the square later, but not for this video or the build video. We'll see how it sits afterwards. But yeah, that's good. That's one, move that aside. Here's two. Nice. Three, they all look good. Let's see here, nothing else in there. You always wanna double check, even under these little flaps, because you might not know when uh, something will go missing or something. Okay, so this is a A7 parts back. Looks like these are the arms for all of the hot end and stuff. So like bearings, let me see if I can get that to focus. It is. See, those are like little bearing things and this is carbon fiber, so that's, that is freaking awesome. Next to that, over here on the left side we have, okay, this is definitely the extruder, but it is in there really tight and I'm ripping it away from the extruder because I don't want to break anything. Actually, it's, uh, it's all metal. Flying extruder. Okay, so this, this motor's pretty big. 
I have a pancake motor, a Tiva pancake motor. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and take off one of my other printers and put on here because uh, the less weight on the flying extruder, the better. But this motor is actually really light. I mean, this whole thing right here maybe weighs a little bit less than half a pound, it feels. I don't have a scale to weigh it, but that is light. Nice. Plus, it's gonna be floating anyway, so. Okay, so this is gonna be the last layer. The motors are really in there. Gosh, that out later. I'm gonna cut them out. Okay, so here is one of the wheels with the belts already attached. That's gonna be freaking sweet. Super simple setup. Another one. A little uh, set screw or something. It's kind of sticking. I'm gonna double check in here in case there's anything else. Nope, we're good there. Third guy here. All the wheels. Oh, let me check the other ones. All the wheels are really smooth. Seems like they've. Uh, Definitely, these look actually a little bit different than the ones that came on the Black Widow. Okay, yeah, it looks like they're using the, the brass spacers instead of lock washers and stuff like that now. And they roll really smooth. That's awesome. Okay, yeah, all three were perfect, by the way. Here we have the hot end with a BL Touch already installed. So you got the BL Touch. It's already kind of spaced out. You have a mount already. You don't have to print anything this time. Uh, these fans blow straight on the hot end, but not on the hot end. I mean, like, you can see the angle. Here's the angle. So, it seems like it's gonna shoot right where the nozzle sits. Everything labeled, I am gonna take those off. Kind of don't like how this fan wiring here is so far away. Oh no, I can't because the way it's oriented. Ay, 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 okay, that's gonna bug me. I guess we can leave it where it is, but I'm gonna ha actually wire it behind the BL Touch in the future, I just wanna get it together and print first. Anyway, there's a little Bowden adapter. Be careful with these. Um, quick tip right now, since you're watching, if you wanna get the PTFE tube out of here, you gotta push this black piece down. In there. Um, ooh, here's the LCD screen. Okay, looks pretty straightforward. Big opening here for the for the. Is that a USB? That's cool. USB SD card. Looks like a single LCD cable this time, so there's no worry of having to plug them in the correct way. But I mean, just looking at it, it looks fine. If you're not worried about super minor cosmetic issues, and you don't have to worry about anything. I'm kind of OCD, so. All right, so here we have another parts pack. This is the stepper gear stuff, along with three stepper gear um, brackets, which are all metal. So, super, super handy. Printing thing. Okay, here we go. So, it looks like they included a little bit longer uh, cable. I'm not sure how well this USB cable is going to be. It's a 2.0, so I have plenty of um, 3.0 studio cables that I'll end, probably end up using instead. But I'm gonna try that out just in some more parts packs. So we're not gonna get into these. Oh, these nice tools. Looks like they included more zip ties. Okay, right here we have, looks like maybe power. Um, that's cool. Okay, that's wiring. Here is another cable. Let's see, one probably goes from the top box to like the power supply or something. Oh, sorry, I'm like totally not in frame. Anyway, looks like that. I'm not gonna have to worry about focus. It's an unboxing. Okay, so we got some, um, some of that, that wire tubing there. Find like kind of an automotive store or something if you need more. That's gonna look good. Nice power cable with the correct one shipped. That's awesome. Here's the PTFE tube for the Bowden. Does look like it's the standard tube actually, yeah. So that looks good. Interesting, okay, so these, uh, I guess they say Kingston. I'm not sure how, that one doesn't look like, it does, I don't know. They look branded, but I'm not sure how legit these are, but we'll see them. I, know, I think I believe one of them comes with the software and the firmware in case you need it, uh, manuals, everything like that. And then it has a little micro SD card in case you need a little backup. I don't know, but that's cool. They included two, that's awesome. Um, oh, yeah, very cool. It included a little knife spatula. I have a Biltech one. Thanks, Biltech, for that, by the way. Uh, so I probably won't be using this, but I'll try it for my first print. You know, I gotta give it a go. Just like a standard putty knife. Guys, let's see here. Okay, so now I gotta get these steppers out of here. I'm gonna rip these off and then pull them out from the side. Okay, there we go. So here's one. More spider webs from the forwarder. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just gonna keep pushing that because it took forever. These look like a little bit longer motors. Maybe maybe ones with more torque or something. But yeah, anyway, that's that. Let me get the other two. Ah! Caught. Okay. Yeah, it was a connector getting caught. Nothing bent, everything's good. Ah, there we go. That one should come out pretty easy. Hoo yee Okay, that's in there. Stepper motors. Set them aside. Okay. All right, that looks good. Left in there. Double check under here. Ooh, $100 bill. Just kidding. Let's see here. Okay, bottom right. I don't know if you can see this. Let me turn this. Whoop. Now we are on this corner. Got some brackets. K1 part. I'm not sure what this part is for. Maybe it's, uh, oh, I think this is a spool holder. How cool is that? Yeah, it definitely is. Nice. 
I completely forgot that this come with that. And then this, I'm not sure what this part is. Either way, I'm gonna set that in its own little pile. Nothing else in there. Okay, these are the tensioner pulleys. The idlers are still without teeth, but that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. Idlers there. All right, I think this is the last compartment before we can start building. This looks like power supply. Ah, so the other one was the control box. Oh no, I got that reversed. Okay, so this the control box. Okay, so I'm gonna have to open this and um, wire that. Or not wire, it comes pre-wired, but I'm gonna have to set that up. Okay, so that's probably gonna be a part of the assembly build. A little bit of brackets here. Brackets are four. Yeah, eight three parts pack. Well, sorry, I'm way off on my stuff. Okay, so anyway, I don't know if you saw this. This is the control box. It has the PCB in there. All right, guys, that's the unboxing. That's everything. Double check everything. Okay, so let me um, get everything set up on the tables and show you what it includes and We'll get building. All right, guys. So this is everything that's going to come in your Delta kit. You basically, have the, the power supply, control box, LCDs, um, the stepper motors, USB cable, bunch of parts packs, the two SD cards, the carbon fiber bearing control little arms, uh, more wiring, power plug, three C beams, the top plate, bottom plate with the silicone heat bed, the build tack surface, the hot end, uh, the flying extruder, the spool holder, the scraper. Basically, the three axes, like, I don't know, I don't even know what you call these axes, I don't know, axes, the three plates that go into the C-beams. So, hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing video, stick around for the assembly video. I'm going to get building and make that video ASAP so we can have some fun. So, thanks for watching. Have a good one.